Everything's so different now Sitting by the fire as you'd watch the flames burn out I miss the days I wasn't afraid Now I always have What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We have two motors right behind me, right there. We have two motors that we are gonna rip down and we're gonna tear it apart and we are going to see what was wrong with the motor that came out of that great car, the great GTI right behind me. And then we also have a part out GTI right up here. I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. Also have to swap the downpipe, I gotta take the downpipe off that car, swap um, some wheels on it so we could have it rolling because we're gonna roll it out the driveway. Guys, this disregard what I just said. I just measured up the wheels and the wheels that I have that came off my B6, they're too bulky to fit on the GTI. So we're not even gonna put that on anymore. And guys, it's super cold out here. And I but by the way, um, what we're just gonna get started with is just the engine that's right here. We have it all covered up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rip the plastic off and then we're gonna start digging into that thing. We gotta replace the, the head gasket. I'm gonna show you guys everything that we got for that this this car so far. Everything. Everything for this car is right here. Everything. We got the head gasket. We have the seals for the turbo. We have a couple we have a couple goodies that we have to install. So this car is gonna be super wicked when it's finished. We have the cam seals. If you guys see them, we have a lot of goodies right here. So we're just gonna get everything installed. What else do we have? We have the tie rod, we have an inner tie rod, boots, um, fuel pump. Only thing I'm not seeing is the cylinder head bolts. I'm not seeing the cylinder head bolts. So I'm gonna text him right now and tell him to order those because you know if we rip the motor and tear it all the way down, we're gonna need the cylinder head bolts to put that thing back together. So let me text him real quick. Now that we have it sitting down on a tire, we could go ahead and get the turbo turbo off, turbo lines all disconnected. Get the turbo lines off. After we get the turbo lines all disconnected, we could go ahead and honestly start pulling the cylinder head right off. And after we go ahead and pull the cylinder head right off, we're gonna go ahead and get the wireless harness all separated too, because we pull the wine harness with the engine and this is also gonna get removed as well because we're gonna reuse this engine in the gray car so we're gonna take this throttle body pipe off and get it removed and swap it over um but like i said guys let's get started enough said it's time to work We freed up now that we freed up the throttle body area we took off the pipe we we'll go ahead and disconnect most of these sensors because half of these sensors we're not even going to reuse we have them on the old old engine harness that's in the other car so we're going to have to go ahead and take half of these stuff off anyways guys so after you pretty much get everything loose there's only one 10 millimeter hole in this harness on if you guys look we disconnect the entire harness so this harness we probably save for a future swap or something um so let's go ahead and get a 10 mil and zap that right off. I wanted to get it off because I'm going to be. Be tripping over that damn thing. So here it goes, guys. A 2.0T V6 harness. I said a V6, a GTI harness. So that could mellow right there for now. If we need any connector or anything off there, we could reuse it. So let it be right there. So. All right, that's out the way. Let's go ahead and pop this intake manifold out the way.
what we have here today we have the engine that was supposed to work on yesterday but we had to stop because i stripped one of the boats in the intake manifold and that boat was taking forever to come out so I, and night was coming down anyway so i had to pause so today we're just going to rip the intake manifold off and the turbo and take off the cylinder head now that you guys are set back down let me go ahead and remove that that pcv line real quick so that line comes off really easy once you release the tabs and move it around it'll end up coming apart there you go just like that guys the intake manifold is now free so guys it's a good thing or or injector stayed inside because if the injectors didn't stay then we'd have to replace the seal so that's a good sign so far that the injectors are good the carbon built up guys is pretty pretty dirty in this engine I look at it look at it guys pretty nasty inside I don't care I just want to make YouTube videos and live my life I think we're gonna might have to I think we might have to take these completely out guys completely out so I have to go home and see all this. That's all. There you go. Guys, I almost forgot about that turbo bracket bolt. Alright guys, so the turbo is free, but we can't take it off just yet. We have one more line that we have to disconnect. So we're just going to put it back in temporarily. Right, and we're gonna disconnect this line. We almost forgot this line right here. So we have to get that line loose and then the turbo should be off. Let's do that right now. All right, now that we got the turbo, we can lay it down somewhere over here. It's off, everything is free. The, the cylinder head portion is free and the intake manifold portion is free. So the only portion that left to free up is this side, the timing portion into it guys because i this guy i remember he had me install like a a, a mount kit for for the for this engine because the bracket had broken off so this this engine got like a little bracket on there for the mount i'll show you guys when i get it all removed give me a couple seconds i just want to have some fun yeah i don't want to fall in love to take this bit off you just move the tensioner and that's it and then that tensioner we also have to remove, but this belt, let's remove it, put it on the side. I don't want to fall in love. Alright, there you go. Lock the tensioner. Tensioner is off. Alright. Now we gotta go ahead and release this pulley right here, but not gonna lie guys. We gotta go ahead and set the motor to top that center first. I'm gonna go ahead and pop number one core pack out and then I'll be able to put an extension down in there and I'll be able to set it from TDC from there and using this mark on the, the cam sprocket as well. So let me disconnect this cover, take this cover off and I'll show you guys how to set the motor to TDC. Okay, if you guys look, this motor is not at top dead center. You can see that the cam line is right here, the blue mark. And um, there's no mark on the timer cover down here, which is kind of puzzling my brains a little bit. But we still be able to set it like TDC. But first, let's go ahead and see if we could go ahead and shock some of these bolts so we could get them loose. Because if not, we're going to have a bad day with stripping those out. So it looks like the cam seal started leaking from right here. We have one. We could go ahead and pop that in as well and replace the cam seal on that, on that portion. So um, we could honestly go ahead and get that knocked out. Um, so we have our spark plug socket. Let's go ahead and free that up now. And I'm going to just break it loose first. Always break it loose. Just down in there, guys. Honey, 
All right, guys, so now the motor's at TDC. If you guys look, and there's a yellow mark somewhere down in there. So there you go, there's a yellow mark. So we are pretty much good. We are set at TDC, and there's a yellow mark right at the end, if you guys could see it. So it doesn't have a timing mark on this cover whatsoever. No, I'm lying. The indent is right there, so we are good. We're just gonna make that brighter. I'm gonna see if I can find my Sharpie, and we should be good. So if you guys look, I have my marks right here. I have one right there and I have another one down there. So both my marks are set for my TDC. So next we're gonna have to just release the tensioner. But I wanna get the sprocket off first cause that sprocket is super hard to work with. Um, and the, those bolts like to strip out to, to be quite frankly. So I'm gonna have to work super careful with just this portion right here cause just these bolts like stripping out. I have to kinda kinda hold this. If not, then it won't come loose. So, kind of, kind of hold it. Break it. Break it loose at the same time, bro. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do this, but. That one is like super tight, guys. So I'm, I just double check all the marks and everything looks looks pretty okay. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, guys, now I could go ahead and get the sprocket off. Everything is already lined up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a few little love taps and it will come right off. So let me show you guys that right now. So just a few little love taps. And then you will get that piece off. Hey. Then pop the, the tensioner loose and once the tensioner is loose guys, we could go ahead and take the The timing the timing belt right off. So let's go ahead and do that now I believe it's a 13 mil So let's use a 13 and just crack it loose All Right and then you just push this forward and that release the t belt tensioner and then what I'm gonna do is just slowly Take it off. So that belt is off now, guys. So what we could go ahead and do now, since we just went ahead and freed the belt up, we could go ahead and start taking off the valve cover. To be honest, we'll go ahead and start freeing up the valve cover. But I think I'm going to stop right here, guys. Because um, we don't have the we don't have the cylinder head bolts. Those are on order. So there's nothing else we could do at this moment. So we're just going to pause right here. All we, all we have to do next is just to take the timing cover off. And then after we get the timing cover off, we could go ahead and just basically put everything back. But we were wait, waiting on the cylinder head bolts to finish taking that portion off. So we're gonna pause right here for today, guys.